In today's video, I am going to be breaking down if you really actually need basketball plays for six to nine year old players. Now, really quickly, as a basketball coach, it's sometimes really hard to be able to figure out at the younger age groups what we need to do to be able to help improve their game. Number one should be ball handling and number two should be shooting, mainly because these are the top two skills that every single player needs to have. However, next is then followed up by understanding spacing on the court, especially at that younger age group, and passing and moving on the court. There is so many times that as a coach, when I used to coach really young players, was they would just kind of all ball up together and they would just be one clump of players on the basketball court. This is why I personally like running basketball plays with even the youngest age groups. And today I'm going to be explaining to you a couple of very simple plays that you can run with your team. Let's get down. Let's check these out. And the plays are all five out offenses. We want to keep this as simple as possible. We do not want to confuse basketball players who are younger. We want to make this simple. So with the five out, we can explain to our players, hey, these are the main areas of the basketball court out on the perimeter. We have the corner, we have the wing, we have the point, we have the other wing, and then we have the other corner. We also have the high post, and we also have the low post. Something else that really happens a lot at the younger age group is... You will find that there's more and more coaches, as soon as they're allowed, they'll run a zone defense, which just basically gets the kids sitting in one spot defensively because they, sh they just don't understand how to run a zone defense at that young age group. And because of that, you could really exploit this because... When you tell a kid, hey, stand here and defend that area, they're literally going to stand there and say, well, I'm defending this area. Oh, look, a player just dribbled the basketball past me. Well, guess what? You can really use this and exploit it and help your team obviously win games. But what that's also going to do for you is it's going to allow you to teach your players even more. So something that I really like to teach my players is to pass that ball and there's a very simple play to run. You pass that ball, and then you cut to the rim. It's also known as a give and go. And basically, you're giving that ball up, and you're cutting towards the rim. When you cut towards that rim, what I want to see this player doing is looking for that pass, and then what I want to see these two players doing is moving up, to the point and moving up to the wing. Those players will then cover that spot, player one will then fill out, and player four at this point can pass that ball to either player five or to player two. If he passes to player two, he's going to again cut towards the basket. Obviously, that player needs to be looking to see if there is a pass available. If there's no pass, player five, three, and one can then cover those spots and again we are now looking at still the same situation where now in ki now in this case if the corner man passes out to the wing again needs to cut towards the basket when he cuts towards the basket at the younger age groups i would then have him post up whatever man is down there if he never received that ball he would post up for two seconds and then I would have him pop back out. Player 5 can then pass up to player 3 as an example. Player 5 would then cut towards the rim. If he's open, hit him up with a pass. If not, player 2 pops up to fill, and player 5 then fills out to that side. Essentially explaining to your players that there's those 5 spots. If there's a spot open on your side, which is the opposite side of the ball, they need to go and fill that spot. Something else that's extremely amazing with this play is the fact that now they are learning to move off ball, which is very basic, but they're still learning it. And then they're learning how to pass and then do something after that pass and cut to the basket so that they can have an easy shot. But they're also learning 
spacing, which is extremely important because, again, younger kids, six years old, seven years old, eight years old, are going to be clumping in as a big clump of just basketball players saying, pass me the ball, I'm two feet away. And we really don't want to see that. It's not fun for anybody. So because of that, a five out simple pass and cut play can absolutely work amazing for these players. And then you can even get into simple, simple things with your team like this. Let's say that ball is out on that wing. Nobody is open. What I want to see happen is player one, he's the opposite side of that ball. I want to see him get open. What I want to see him do is to either do a high cut to that elbow or a low cut towards that low block. Or he can do a curl cut by making it look like he's going to go screen for player four. This is this last one is obviously a little bit more advanced, but either way, he can do a curl cut down towards that low block, in which case, when he goes down there, count to two seconds, player four is going to be moving up to fill that spot. Player one is going to be counting to two seconds. If he gets no pass, then he's going to be then popping out towards that corner. And we can do the exact same thing with player four. We can also teach our players, hey, what about player three instead cutting? Player three could cut, player four and one can then fill, and then maybe player three may have, might have had a chance to score. So there's so many different options that we can teach our players how to move off ball. I hope that this strategy helps your team win more games, but also learn the game of basketball much better. Now, I've got a whole bunch of different plays and drills that you can run on this channel, so hit that like button and subscribe, but also something that you could do if you coach an older age group is if you like that five out offense, or if you're coaching this same play with your team and you wanna get more advanced in the future, go check out my five out complete guide down in the description below, and I know it's gonna help your team. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.